In this video, we'll be looking at currents running through resistors in parallel. This experiment can be found on page 121 of the textbook used in the Wolsey Hall Oxford AS Level Physics course. In the first electricity video, a 100 ohm resistor and a 47 ohm resistor were put in series. We saw that the current reading was the same irrespective of where you place the ammeter. Here we're using the same resistors but placing them in parallel. Just to refresh your memory, this is the table we use to work out the resistance values. We know for example that this is a 47 ohm resistor because the dirty yellow followed by the purple and black corresponds to 470. And the gold band means we multiply by 0.1 ohms. This makes 47 ohms. Initially, the multimeter is placed in the Z position in order to measure the total current. The total current is controlled with a potentiometer. The multimeter is then connected in series with the 100 ohm resistor. This is position X. Then connected in series with the 47 ohm resistor, which is position Y. In the video using a rheostat, it was clear that the most useful configuration was the potentiometer, so that's what I'm using. If you do the calculations, you'll see that with this setup and a 3 volt power supply, the maximum current that could possibly flow is less than 100 milliamps. So it's fine to use the 200 milliamp range with the red lead in the fused port. The slider has been moved so that the reading in the Z position is approximately 5 milliamps. I'm choosing values close to those in the textbook, but there's no reason why you can't choose different values for IZ. Now that the ammeter is properly connected, we can get a reading of 5.1 milliamps. Placing the multimeter in the X position gives a reading of 1.6 milliamps. Nothing else has been changed. Placing the multimeter in the Y position gives a reading of 3.5 milliamps. You can probably see my pen there, which I'm using to write my readings. Always a good idea. To get the next set of readings, the multimeter is moved back to the Z position and the slider is moved along to increase the current to 15 milliamps. Then the readings are taken in the X and Y positions. Repeat this process to get the following results. You'll notice that for the results highlighted in blue, Ix plus Iy equals Iz, which is what we wanted. The ones highlighted in red are a little off. This is a perfect example of the problems with experimental error and instrument precision. You might notice that in physics it's common to round to two significant figures. This makes sense because small errors can accumulate when you do calculations with experimental values. Magically, in this case, rounding to two significant figures makes everything match perfectly. Another interesting observation is how the current is shared. This plot of IY against IX shows that it's always shared in the same proportion. The ratio of IY and IX is approximately 2.1. This is the reciprocal of the ratio of the resistance values. To summarise, charge is conserved at a junction, irrespective of the current supplied. A plot of IY against IX shows that the current is equal to the inverse of the ratio of the resistance values RY and RX, which means the resistor with the higher value received a smaller proportion of current. Since the resistor with the lower value receives more current, and power is I squared R, the 47 ohm resistor gets quite hot, as I discovered the painful way.